Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So here we have taken an another sum on sectional orthographic projection. So here we have been given the three dimensional view and we have to draw its sectional front view in the direction x and the top view. So according to the direction x, here will be the front view, here will be the top view and here will be the side view. So first we will see the total dimension or the width required to draw the front view. So as you can see the distance given till the center here is 85. Then this distance is nothing but the curve bottom it is given 30. And the remaining distance this is the radius of the outer semicircle. So total is 160. The height given here it is 60. Then the remaining is 12 that is 72. And the total width will be nothing but the diameter of the outer circle that is 80. Now as we have got the dimensions. So here we will be drawing the front view. So the width of the front view or the length required is 160 millimeters. So accordingly we will leave the space that is 160 millimeters around for the front view and then we will draw the coordinates. So drawing the coordinates x, y, x dash, y dash and we will draw 5 millimeter apart distances the axis or the base lines for drawing the figure. So starting with the front view this total length is 160 millimeters. So from the front view it will be dark visible. So I'll draw the dark line. This is 160 millimeter. Then this height is 12 millimeter. So above that we'll draw a dark line of 12 millimeter. Then we will draw a light line parallel to this line from this point. Next you can see we have this curve, this curve so there will be a semicircle, the diameter is given, this height of this is 40 so the radius will be 20 and the diameter of that semicircle is 40. So from here as the radius is 20, so 20 millimeter from the left we will mark a point. Then from here, I will draw a perpendicular to this line. So drawing a perpendicular line from here. So here I am drawing the center line of the circle. That is big gap, small line gap, big line. Now taking the compass and on that I will take the radius as 20 millimeter. So from here I will mark the point. From here I will draw the semicircle. Now next after drawing this semicircle we have a smaller circle here inside it is totally drilled. It has a diameter of 20 millimeter. So on the compass taking radius as 10 millimeter. With the same center we will draw the circle. So this circle is totally drilled inside. Now here the total height of the figure is 60 plus 12 that is 72 we have already calculated. So from here I will mark a point 72 millimeter above. Now we will draw a parallel line through that point. Next this distance the center point of the another semicircle is 15 millimeter from this end. So marking a point 15 millimeter here. Then till the center we have the remaining distance of 85 millimeter till the center of the bigger circle. We will draw lines through those points. So drawing light line here or you can directly draw the center axis line of the circle. This is the center line of the two circles you can see. Now next we will draw the total width of the bigger circle. The total width or the diameter. The diameter will nothing but touch over here. 
so on the left it is 40 and on the right it is 40 as the total diameter of the outer circle is 80 millimeter so drawing here a dark line of 80 millimeter then you have the height given is 15 millimeter so from here 15 millimeter below will draw a dark line here also 15 millimeter below will draw a dark line and from the front view as you can see the circle looks like a rectangle shape now next the bottom curve you can see the radius given is 30 so from the center 30 millimeters on left and 30 millimeters on the right we marked a point and through those points we will draw the projection line downward so from here drawing the projection line downward and as it is section plane I am drawing like this as the inner circle will be visible and as it is cut from the line AA so this is the dark part as the circle is totally cut now here the distance it is till this part this height is not given so it is still here till the circle diameter of 40 drawing this dark as it is sectioned part this will be the dark part as it is cut so as you can see this circle is visible now so you have to draw this circle also the diameter given is 20 but actually it is 40 so from center 20 millimeters on both the sides I'll mark the point we'll draw a dark line from here reaching towards the bottom as the circle is totally drilled till the bottom we are assuming that so this is how the dark line will be now this curve part we have already marked the point here we have already marked at a distance of 15 I'll mark it here also now the width of the curve given is 20 so the radius will be 10 so I'm marking the center line now this curve as you can see the width given is 20 so radius will be 10 so from here 10 millimeters on left side I'll mark the point taking this as the reference line this line will again be dark as it is sectioned so that part is visible now now we'll draw the section lines at an angle of 45 degree so wherever the cut part is there we'll draw section lines over there draw it consistently the gap should be same between the lines now after drawing section lines we will move towards drawing the top view so for drawing the top view we will take all the projections from the front view towards the top view so each and every point projection center line projection have to take it downwards so we'll start with the circle the circle total diameter is 80 millimeter from the top view that is the biggest thing so radius as 40 millimeter we'll first locate the center point so from here keeping the pointer here first we will locate the center point and through that center point we will draw the circle so this is the circle visible from the top view first then you have the inner circle also its projection is already there you can directly draw or you can first draw the circle in the top view then take the projections upward towards the front view anyhow you can do it's always better to draw the view first and then take the projections so lines will be proper now here we have to draw the semicircle so for that first we will draw a center line here so take the parallel line properly and draw the center line here again the circle center line then 
then the thickness of this part is 60 so from the center 30 millimeter above and 30 millimeter below we will mark the point then taking this line as the reference line we will draw dark lines touching the circle so till it touches the circle you have to draw the lines so this is how it holds the circle but from the bottom side but from the top it views like this then this is the semicircle part from the center 10 millimeters above and below we have marked the point now the radius is 10 millimeter so we have to draw the semicircle but semicircle will be not from here it is from here we have already taken the projections and draw the curve after drawing the curve now you have to join this so take this as the reference line draw this line dark bottom also draw this dark now you can see you have this curve part of radius 30 it is hidden from the top view as it is below this bigger circle so we have to draw that dotted so first we will take the radius of 30 millimeter on the compass keeping the center point we will draw dotted lines a dotted whole circle we will draw so that is basically the curve part which is totally hidden below the upper circle then this part we have to draw this is touching the lower circle which is hidden so from here first we will mark two points its distance is given thickness is given according to that we have taken then we will draw the dark line over here and it goes inside also so as you can see it goes inside and touching the hidden circle so we will draw the dotted lines over here also and here also so this is how it is and here also you can see this is the curve part it is attached now this inner circle you can see you have to take the projections we have already taken and this circle is also hidden in the top view so this projection was remaining we took that and we are drawing dotted lines so this is the hidden part the circle drawing the center axis line of the circle don't forget to do that here also I am drawing the center axis line of the circle here also now the final part of the top view you have to join this and we are done with the top view now moving towards the side view we will draw the 45 degree angle line we will take all the projections from the top view towards the 45 degree angle line and from the 45 degree angle line upward towards the side view we will take all the projections from the front view towards the side view take all the projections properly so we don't have to take any dimensions in the side view we have to just draw parallel lines properly after this side view is from here first we will draw this curve part or the semicircle part so take the projection line properly mark the points so width is this and height is this much from the front view so I am drawing this dark next projection the width is still here and the height is from here so the semicircle part will look like a rectangle shape from the side view so this part is done then you can see this is the hidden circle we will draw that dotted again take the projections and look the projections properly and then draw it draw the center axis line draw one part by one part so you will not get confused then you can see we have this curve part but this curve part will look straight from the side view so it will look like a total thickness from the side view so it is still here the curve part so this is the curve part from the side view look straight then we have the height extension from the front view draw that till that projection 
then this height is from here the dotted line we have to we have taken that projection it is the same on this line so i'm drawing this part dark that curve part also looks rectangle from the side view then this bigger circle it will look like a rectangle shape from the side view so this is the bigger circle from the side view then this smaller inner circle it is hidden but it is totally drilled till the bottom here i am drawing till here only but that's the mistake you have to draw it till the bottom as it is totally drilled from top to bottom so this dotted line will be till the bottom of the side view do that correction drawing the center axis line then this curve part is also hidden so taking that projection and drawing it dotted in question you have not asked the side view but i have drawn it to explain you properly how the side view will look if in the exam it is asked now with this we are totally completed with the side view we just mark the dimension whatever dimensions are given in the question mark them properly and we are done with the sum Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram